den, dámy a pánové. Jsem velmi rád, že se tady s vámi mohu potkat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to be here. I apologize for my delay. Uh, I also apologize for having to leave early. And let me thank the organizers of this meeting. I believe uh, Mr. Scheer and the previous speakers have told you about the common agriculture policy. You've heard a lot, so I'll cut my presentation short. I would like to say that in relation to the climatic change, uh, the entire view of uh, agriculture policy in society at large uh, is changing in terms of the protection of the uh, essential resources such as water as well as uh, biodiversity. As Mr. Scheer told you, we advocate a strong budget. If farmers should take greater care of the landscape, they should be endowed with funding. Uh, they need time to work and not uh, waste it on uh, bureaucracies. It is appropriate, I believe, to mention one condition, one critical factor, and that is the farmer. As such, uh, why am I saying this? The European Commission requires uh, every farmer to keep proving he is a farmer indeed. We have found this uh, not quite functional. This has been abolished, and now it is much to my surprise that we find that this is going to be required again, and even in stricter terms than before. As I see the uh, producers of, of, of hops as well as uh, uh, animal husbandry in this room, I, I feel a little ashamed for this. We insist on the maintenance of the support for all the sectors involved. We also uh, advocate the payment for the first few hectares in order to offer support to small farms. It is not too important what size criterion should be adopted, but there should be one. Climate changes have been mentioned. Definitely, we do need to adjust uh, our methods of farming in order to keep water in the landscape and at the same time manage uh, uh, the uh, uh, disposal of water from uh, fields to avoid erosion. We are going to talk about this with uh, the farmers and with uh, all those interested. We need to prevent soil erosion. We need to keep organic matter in the soil. And I cannot fail to letošního ledna jsme jako jeden z prvních států Evropské unie zakázali předskvizňovat aplikaci na plodiny. I, I can't fail to mention glyphosate. Let me mention that the consumption of glyphosate dropped 25% in 2018. The consumption of pesticides uh, dropped more than 14% in the last six years. Uh, only Denmark consumes uh, less 
pesticides than the Czech Republic, while in Germany the consumption is up to twice as much as here. So far, uh, we have uh, <coughs> reviewed uh, land use uh, uh, schemes in the country. We have invested two billion crowns, and uh, we are going to focus on further measures uh, to take. This is intimately related with water management, uh, the amendment to the Water Management Act, uh, which should accelerate the development of uh, the facilities, including protective uh, dikes. Uh, we plan to improve more than 1,200 ponds. which is about uh, a pond a day in the time frame. Uh, this is quite a serious step. So we had legal experts to draft an opinion of uh, the bill. It is one of our important goals that uh, water resource protection should be included in our constitution. There's general agreement throughout the political spectrum on this, so I do hope this effort is going to be successful. Forest is very important in this context, though we face an unusually strong uh, bark beetle calamity, which is why we have adopted a number of measures to protect uh, forests, to help the owners of the forest to uh, revitalize the forests. The Czech Forest Administration has uh, amended its strategy for the period till 2024. We have uh, introduced some preparatory trees, a species of preparatory trees for the uh, revival of uh, bark beetle stricken forest areas. Uh, we have released uh, another 350 million crowns for this effort, uh, and uh, an additional one billion for next year. Protection against the uh, wild boar is also important. What I promised in Parliament at the adoption of the Forestry Act uh, should be made true. We are going to finalize the drafting by early next year. And I expect the amended law will be enacted in the next year. We cannot fail to mention foodstuffs. It is totally uh, 
illogical to import uh, foodstuffs that we can easily produce ourselves in terms of milk and, and dairy products, for example. We are able to export uh, cheese, for example. Our capacities are quite sufficient. Uh, it, it is indeed useless to import, for example, low-fat item cheese. Uh, Czech uh, foodstuffs are high quality and safe, and they rank 24 uh, among 134 countries. And uh, our uh, inspection uh, organizations work uh, quite hard and quite efficiently and successfully in this respect. Just in the last year, 17% only failed in inspection from the EU, more than 26% imported from third countries, and in the Czech Republic only 10 percent. In terms of double quality of foodstuffs, that is important, and I highlighted the fact that this is not the problem of Czech producers. It's a problem of above national companies who are sure that Czech consumer wouldn't no, wouldn't recognize quality. Otherwise, it's impossible to explain why people would force on us double quality of foodstuffs. We were pointing that out at the Ministry of Agriculture, our chambers pointed out to this problem, and there is a directive, and we'll pay attention to that in the years to come as well. Ladies and gentlemen, even if agriculture is among traditional sectors, its future without digitalization is hard to imagine. So in the CAP, we are trying to be digitalized. It's necessary to adjust technologies. We are supporting R&D. And in terms of modernization of equipment, farmers can draw from the program of rural development. Maximum subsidy is 90 million crowns and 40 to 60 percent is paid by the farmer himself. Based on statistics, into robotization and digitalization, each fifth farmer is investing into that. Digital technologies are making lots of technologies much more simple. Using drones, they can monitor field work. Some drones could do multispectral sensing so farmers can analyze the situation in the soil and they can dose the fertilizers and they can of course monitor pests and etc digitalization of agriculture also improves the welfare of agricultural animals and thanks to the fact that we would save doses of fertilizers, we are decreasing the burden on the environment and the automation or robotization helps us to save the labor because we are lacking labor in agriculture. Technologies are making our lives easier. They are helping us, but I believe that even in the future, agriculture will be about a farmer who is walking around his fields, having a strong relation to his soil and to his animals. And we believe we can help farmers and that the CAP will accept our requests. And I wish you and us to negotiate conditions which will safeguard good development of Czech agriculture for the future. Thank you.